Today I'm going to be turning this go-kart, which I bought secondhand for $80. It's meant for toddlers. Into a fully functional, high speed health and safety hazard. <laughs> Right, so first things first, I decided to go into the belly of the beast to work out exactly what needed to be done. I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> now, despite being a bit of an electronics noob, I knew one thing for sure. We were going to need a lot more power. So this is a 72 volt brushless DC motor. Now, if you have no idea what that means, Welcome to the club. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just for reference though, the current motor is this big. <laughs> Look at the difference, bro. Oh my God, this was probably a mistake. One of the reviews I read on Amazon said that they used this to get their go-kart up to 60 miles per hour. I really hope I don't manage that. Now, according to science, a 72 volt motor requires a 72 volt power supply. So equipped with my high school physics knowledge, I took six 12 volt batteries, hooked them up in series, and it worked. <laughs> All right, my friends, so if this looks like a dangerous mess, um, that's because it is. I've connected our battery to our motor, and I'm about to test out for the first time if it actually works. I'm a little bit nervous. Maiden test flight of the battery and motor system. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, baby! So with the guts of our upgrade ready to go, next on the list was to build a frame to accommodate them. Guys, look, I got a belt. I'm a real builder now. And the frame is done, my friends. Ow! I speed ran that so hard. And just like that, our modified parts were good to go. Meaning that the only thing left to do was combine them with the old cart. So the good news is, this thing is starting to look like a go-kart. Which is nice. Because it's been five days. That's the bad news. <laughs> I'm actually pretty proud of how this looks. The steering works really well. The motor is actually spinning the wheels. I don't know where I'm going to sit, but apart from that, we're almost ready to test this thing out. All right, my friends, the time is now. I'm about to test this for the first time. It's been a couple of days of building. Um, so I'm going to be sad if it doesn't work. To say that this thing is rickety would be a bit of an understatement. It is... Oops. <laughs> this thing is built on duct tape, literally. Hopefully going to move in three, two, one. Oh no, this is not working. <laughs> so it turns out the cart had one fatal flaw. The chain just would not stay on. Oh, the chain came off. <laughs> oh, the chain came off. Oh, the bloody chain came off. That was until I got my friend Jonty to help. Um, you know, he actually knows engineering, so probably should have done that from the start. All right, lads, this is the official final test, I promise. In three, two, one. <laughs> Finally, after nearly a week of trial and error, we'd managed to get this thing working, which in my opinion meant only one thing. A drag race against one of the most popular electric go-karts in the world. Alright, let's say winner gets three dollars. <laughs> Come on, I'm really going to push the limits here. I hope you're ready to be left in the dust. 61 miles per hour, here we go lads. In three, two, one. Oh, sorry. Twisting it the wrong way. <laughs> oh God! Oh! I'm trying my best! Oh! Oh! I have no brakes! <laughs> oh, default! No! <laughs> hey, both the wheels stayed on this time. <laughs> well, my friends, I'm gonna call this a week well spent. Just kidding. 
darkness of waste of time. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you very, very soon. Peace out. Oh, and bye-bye. I did move the tiniest bit, surely that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs>